our look is definitely a bright orange look. I know I took pictures of this and already said which products I used. I changed up the eyes a little bit and um, this is my favorite orange lip to wear right now. It's really popular right now um, and I wanted to do a tutorial on it even though I had pictures from Halloween with this look. I wear this actually as a day look all the time. I don't actually need to have Halloween to wear this look because I think it's really nice and fun and bright and cheery and it's cold outside but who cares? I mean I still want some happiness and fun in my um, day even if it's cold outside so this is my orange lip with my pretty golden eye. This eye can be worn with even nude lipstick. It doesn't have to be worn with this bright lipstick and it's really really simple to do. So this is my bright golden eye, my orangey cheek with a nice uh, contouring and highlight, and my nice orange lip. So I hope you guys will enjoy this tutorial, and let's get started. To begin with this look, I'm going to be taking some Laura Mercier's Hydrating Primer. I'm just going to put this all over my face. Please excuse the swatches, I couldn't get the long wear L'Oreal lipstick off. And this has been after like a day. <laughs> I think I need to get alcohol or something to remove it because it's really staying on. So, note to self, <laughs> just rub this all in with your fingers, get this all over your face. Then we're going to be taking some Laura Mercier's Tinted Moisturizer SPF 20 in sand. I'm just going to put this on my fingers, dot this on my face. And then I will blend it in with a foundation brush. I'm going to be using this one. It's a Sigma 190. This foundation or this tinted moisturizer is a little dark for my skin. I, w I was a little bit tanner when I bought this, but I want kind of a warm complexion for the look I'm about to do. Um, it is a recreation of that orange lip that is really popular right now. And I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how it is I pulled off that look. So, I'm going to be taking a little bit of the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Just dot this on my lids. Blend it in. I'm going to be taking this color from MAC. It's called Woodwinked. It is a very shimmery brown color. I don't know how well you can see that. I don't think that helps, but very shimmery brown color. I'm going to take that on a MAC 213 brush. I'm just going to pat some of it on there. And then I'm going to pat it all the way across my eye. This look is really easy to achieve. It's one of my favorite wearable looks because it's really fast and easy to do. And it looks like you tried a lot harder than you did. This shadow is so shimmery that in certain light it gives off shadows and shimmer and it's just really, really easy to wear and I love it. Especially if you're, even if you're lighter toned or darker toned, it always, I think it just looks pretty on everyone. Pat that on. I'm going to take a 224 brush from Matt, or from Sigma, excuse me, and a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend that harsh line out. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Nakeds palette and I'm just going to dip a little bit into this dark horse color with my 224. And I'm just going to put this ever so slightly in the crease and blend up in that corner and blend up. It's just going to add a little bit of smokiness. You don't even have to do this step. I just thought since I'm doing a tutorial, I'll do one more step to show you you can take this look a little bit more smoky if you wanted to. Really any dark brown. You could probably even use bronze from MAC. This is bronze from MAC right here. Um, that color would probably work just fine as well if you have that color. Um, I'm just using dark horse because it's right here. And I think it would look a little bit prettier because it's a little bit more contrasting than bronze. So just put that all over the eye. I am going to then take this virgin color and tap a little on my 224 and blend that ever so slightly into that color. 
take a little more of that dark horse blend it up into that virgin and to add a little effect I'm going to take a Sigma 194 brush and a little bit of Sin which is this color right here it's a little pinkier and hopefully you can see that it's not too it's pretty shimmery but that color dot that right in the corner of the eye just to add a little highlight. You can take that same 213 brush from MAC and you can take a little bit of more of that dark horse and take that right under the eye to add that smoky effect. You don't want to go too smoky with the eyes though because really our look is going to focus on the lip. I'm going to be using a little Clinique gel liner and I'm going to be using a, a low Low Cornell Comfort 3400 Angular 1 4th brush. Just gonna do my eyeliner. <laughs> taking Urban Decay's Bourbon Eyeliner Pencil. It's a deep brown color and I'm going to be putting that under the eye. I'm going to apologize right now for any noise you may hear outside. It is semi late on at night and there's always honking and stuff like that. So people trying to get home, I don't know. So anyways, I'm just going to put this in the water line. Just pull your eye down and run that right along that line. Do the other side. I'm going to very quickly take a kabuki brush. This is a 181 from MAC. This is from a holiday pack. And I'm going to dust away any under eye fallout that may have fallen. I'm going to curl my lashes with a MAC eyelash curler. I'm going to be using a little bit of the Aqua Smoky Lash by Makeup Forever in Extra Black. Next I'm going to be doing my brows. I'm going to be using Max Impeccable Brow Pencil in Taupe. Just going to run this through my brows to give them a little bit of shape and color. Since my skin is a little bit tanner than it usually is, um, I want my brows to kind of be darker as well. Just so they shape this goldeny eye that I've created. I'm going to be running a little Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer in Sand. I just put my finger in it on accident, so um, just smooth that underneath the eyes. I'm going to set that with a little bit of this pale yellow powder that comes in this little kit. And as you can see, it goes everywhere. And I know the minute I put it on my face, you're going to see it go everywhere. Ugh, crazy crazy packaging and just pat that right under the eyes. I'm going to be contouring with this color right here. I actually showed it to you when I showed you the bronze. This is called Blunt from MAC. It is a blush but I use it as a contour powder because I don't think anyone actually uses it as a blush. I'm going to be using a tapered brush. This is the F25 from Sigma and I'm just going to take it on the end of this cone area and I'm going to make the fishy face and I'm going to take it right under the cheek and blend. This is really going to warm up my skin because this is quite a dark color and I usually only wear it when I'm a little bit warmer toned or when I'm going for a more contoured look. Lightly through the temples up into the hairline. So I hope you can see how that contour really shows up on the face. 
It's going to give a lot of dimension and definition to the face. And then if you just take it underneath the neck, it's going to look really nice. Um, I had some red lipstick on my lips before and it kind of stained my lips. So I'm going to take a little bit of the Tint Innocence um, by Chanel and just pat that on my lips just to nude them out a little bit so that the color I put down is bright and vibrant. Let's do that real quick. I'm going to be taking this color from Rockin' Republic. It's called All Nighter. It is a bright, bright orange. It's really fun. I really like it. It's one of my favorite shades I've bought in recently. And Rockin' Republic has such nice packaging. Look how gorgeous this is. It's all nice and has a mirror and everything. And there's the color, though. It's huge. Absolutely huge. I'll compare it. Here, let me show you. Here's a MAC blush. This is actually a cream blush. This is from the... Um, Mac and Lily Land collection. This is Joy De V, and it's a cream blush. And look at the difference in size. It's crazy. It's huge. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm going to be taking that on this brush. This is a Sigma 109. Pat that in there ever so slightly. This color is so pigmented. Wipe a little off. I'm just, oh, see? It's so pigmented. <laughs> I have to be really careful with this blush, or you will be orange. <laughs> like I am right now. <laughs> so there you go. There's a nice little orangey cheek to add to this nice bronzed skin. I am going to add, let's see, should I add a little? Yeah, I'll add a little shimmer. Why not? This is the Laura Mercier's Peach Mosaic Shimmer Block. It is really pretty. I'm going to use the same brush I used for the blush. It's a 109 swirl it in there, put it just above, just on the top of the cheekbones. And last but not least, I'm going to do my lips. I'm going to be taking Max Red R-E-D-D -D Lip Liner, and I'm going to fill in all of my lips. <music> going to be taking Max So Shod lipstick or So Shod, I don't know how you say it. C H A U D So Shod, I think. It is a bright orangey lipstick. And I'm just going to put this on the lips from the bullet. And there's my orange lip, kind of an orangey cheek nice golden eye look. Um, I would probably wear this out with my friends, out shopping, um, out when I'm wanting to feel warm or something like that because this look definitely makes me feel very fun and warm and summery and it's not summer now but I still like to wear this look now even though it's not summer and I think the orange lip is really in style right now and I know a lot of people are trying it out so I definitely think this So Shod color is really pretty if you're my skin tone and the REDD, -E the red MAC lip pencil, is perfect as a lip liner base for it because it just looks great. So um, there's our like golden shimmery eye with a nice orangey cheek with a pretty highlight and a pretty orange lip. So let me just close my eyes real quick for you so you can get a look. And there you go, there's our look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them for me. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye, guys.